everybody, it's Jamie here. Welcome to Travel Blog Jamie and a very special day. It's cruise day. Oh yes it is. We are embarking P&O's Iona on a Norwegian Fjords cruise for one week. You are coming with us and we are going to have the best time. Let's cruise. Before this mega adventure, please do give this video a cheeky little like, subscribe and turn on notifications for my bi-weekly cruise and travel vlogs. And coming up in today's episode, the check-in process, surviving one week in an inside cabin, muster, exploring all the open decks, a lowdown from my fab subscribers, speciality dining, dress codes, the naughty nibbles cupboard, our experience in the port of Stavanger, including mountain goats and waterfalls, stunning sail into Oldham port, one of the steepest cable cars in the world, amazing views and snowball fights, beautiful sailaways, every single meal reviewed, entertainment and much more. Dock gate four, here we come. There she is, Ocean Terminal, we're back. Right, we're somewhat early, so we're gonna drop our luggage off and then we're gonna head into town for a little bit, get a drinky booze, maybe some food. Oh, God bless our level eight luggage. Let's do this, drop off. Already, I am looking for luggage pod four. There you go pod four bags are already going by see you on board there she is folks in all her glory can't wait for this cruise haven't been to the norwegian fjords for about six or seven years right we've been in town spent a lot longer there than anticipated it's actually half three now never ever checked in so late for a cruise let's see um how busy or not it is at this time well would you look at that there's still a lot of bags that need taken through small bags down here still wow that's a huge amount people are packing heavy right there's no zigzag today we've been all the way back here before up we go to departures looks like we've just got the one line right you just need your boarding pass your passport and advisable to have proof of insurance although the last two times they haven't asked us well this is a very good fast free flowing line so far that literally took minutes because we did most of the check-in online in advance and we are okay to board thank you jesus and next is security and just like that done and dusted uh, probably about 10-15 minutes uh, from the moment we arrived to now, the moment when we are going to board the ship, yes! Oh, I love the zigzaggy bit. Oh, bless you, Matthew. Because Matthew is super nosy, he was having a look at the official documentation on check-in uh, behind the desk. Very naughty, actually, isn't he? Um, I know you always say hashtag Paul Matthew, but actually he's very badly behaved. So apparently 5,705 passengers expected on this cruise, which actually uh, might sound an awful lot, but it's still about four, 500 less than our previous cruise with P&O over Easter. <laughs> oh, nearly there. And he made it, he's on board. I made it, hello. Alrighty, we are Muster D, which is literally at the base of the atrium next to the Emerald Bar, pretty much where we embarked. So the new style Muster is literally rock up and they zap your barcode. I love it. There you go, all done. We're now heading to our cabin where we have been asked to watch the safety video. Down, down, down we go to deck four. So Matthew has been quite strict with me in the last year telling me i need to spend less on cruises so therefore he insisted i get an inside cabin for the week ahead i'll let you know how that goes <laughs> look he's off like a rat right so we did actually receive a cabin upgrade from an inside cabin that was uh forward to an inside cabin that is midship yeah we'll take what we can get Right, we made it. Oh, and our luggage is here. That's awesome. Your key cards are stored just outside your door. And let's see what this inside's all about. 4449, that's an easy one to remember. Thank you, Matthew. Oh my goodness. Well, this could end up being the shortest cabin tour and review I have ever done. I'll show you around later. <laughs> Typical us, as soon as the luggage is here, we unpack. Right, the acid test. Will our very large case fit under the bed? 
Yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh, push, push, push. Yeah, it's there. Thank you. Safety first, everybody. Let's get this drill done. Just a little snack for us now that we've unpacked. At the keys, I'll talk you through what the keys is later, but all you need to know for now is we are hungry. Great, my plate has nothing on me, folks. This is how I'll be scoring every dish we sample on Iona. Matthew says the burger is good. Matthew, can you give people advice on how to use a lift? Push that as quick as you can. <laughs> close, close, close. <laughs> it's pool time. Safety drill. Goodness me, that's setting off my tinnitus. Captain Wesley, listen up. Very important passenger. I mean, captain. Oh, unhealthy line for drinks at the bar. This is always the way on embarkation day, I'm telling you. I'm gonna join the line. It's gone down a tiny bit. Otherwise, I'm just gonna stay parched forever and never have a cocktail, ever. The things I do for Matthew, but yeah, he's having a peep. Where's that Jamie? Why is he taking so long? We made it. Well, I made it. Cheers, Matthew. Happy holidays. Ginger, everyone, happy sailing. <laughs> Captain, you naughty boy, <laughs> honestly. We are on the move. See ya, smelly old Southampton. You know I'm joking, don't you? Free sailor weight drinks for Peninsula Club members. Thank you, Pino. Chin chin, Matthew. Cool. Oh, that's nice and warm, you know. Well done, Pino. Oh, that is lovely. Honestly, you can't be an evening swim, folks. Love it. One of my favorite things, evening swim. And then we have the beach coma pool and bar. If you're not familiar with the My Holiday How To Guide, well, here's a quick peek. But if you want all the detail, search Travel Blog Jamie and My Holiday app. I've got everything you need to know in one place. So the My Holiday webpage is where you can view your onboard account, make dining reservations, uh, join virtual queues for dining, book seats for shows, and browse and book short excursions. Rainy hole, we have popped back to the cabin, freshened up, and it's time to head out for the evening. Let's do this. We made it to the crow's nest. Oh, I do love a crow's nest, folks. Love those views. Oh, we got the Isle of Wight over on the right-hand side. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that is sour. And you know what I'm about to say, don't you? Just like Matthew or me. Matthew would like me to point out that this has gone up 20p um, since the menus uh, have evolved because of the drinks packages. And don't you worry, we are making a vlog all about those drinks packages and looking at the prices in each bar to see whether they would suit you or not. Just be patient with us, it'll come. Look, Matthew's gone all out with his Prosecco, haven't you? Yeah. Tiny little thing. Chin chin. It's beach house time. All right, so at the beach house, you can expect to pay £7.60 if you book in advance. If you book whilst on board, it's going to cost you £9.50. Uh, you get your starter, main and dessert. Did you hear? Can you hear Matthew in the background? He's embarrassed. I talk too much, apparently. Anyway, what would you have? Drop your comments below. All right, Matthew's gone with the potato skins. He tells me he's going to string more than two words together to tell you what he thinks of it. All right, go on. Go on, Matthew. Um, um. <laughs> there are people laughing at us, sat next to us. Don't know who they are, by the way. <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> it's like someone's actually choking on their wine or something <laughs> next to us. Matthew, <laughs> It's Nicole Scherzinger next to us, I think. Matthew, are you going to actually describe this? Nice. It's very nice, thank you. Two words, do you know? That's it, two words, very nice, thank you. Now, I don't want to be inappropriate, but I've got the Poke Bowl. It sounds dodgy. I love the colour of this bowl, by the way. I, I, I'm hoping no one knows it's going to actually take it home with me and try and take it home. Cheers, Matthew. Chin chin. Happy days. If you want to know what Poke tastes like, <laughs> let's find out. <laughs> No, I really like that. Really fresh, nice and zingy, citrusy, very tasty. That's a win. 
it's fajita time or as my friend from up north calls them fangia man smells delicious all righty matthew's gone with the dulce de leche tart matthew is saying that on iona the cherries didn't taste like cherries last time but do they this time no the tart nice Oh, jeez. No. Well, eat it. Put it in your gob. A little Matthew review. Nice. Alrighty, I have the low sugar dessert, which is the apple pie. Homemade apple pie. That is delicious. It's not sweet at all. Quite tart. And there you go. That's the beach house experience. Lovely meal. Lovely service. We had a very nice couple sat next to us actually. They were both, thank you so much. Thank you, bye. Thank you, bye. Welcome to the atrium on Iona. Gorgeous, love the marble here. One of my favorite restaurants at sea is over here, Keeling Cow. Look at Matthew, look, peeping, people watching, peeper. Oh my goodness, they are, they're playing the Mandalorian theme tune. That's awesome. Tell me, go again. Oh, I love you, Iona. Oh, I really like this pianist, by the way. The interesting tunes. And the Mandalorian, who does that? I love that. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna shame this family. How dare you not have unpacked? It's like midnight, for goodness sake. Normally, I'm really good at getting my bearings on Iona and Avia. But I can't seem to grasp where on earth our cabin is. This is what happens when you put me inside. But that's okay, because Matthew's just taken us the wrong way. Yeah. We've literally walked about three miles. Oh, home sweet home. And this is the relaxing sleep spray. You must bring this on board with you. A little spray on the pillows, and then you're gonna sleep like a baby. It's not included in your cabin, by the way. This is white company products. Only the best will doodle do. Honestly, not the biggest fan of this cabin at the moment, but maybe it'll grow on me. I'll explain all later. However, one thing that will raise my spirits in this cabin is the nibbles covered. Look at what we've got for the week ahead, folks. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna go with some beef hula hoops, actually. Oh, mind you, we've got Thai chili crackers there as well. Um, oh, beef, Thai, beef, oh God, both. Oh, what a lush I am. Look, Hula Hoops and Horizon. If you're not familiar with Piano, well, the Horizon is the daily newsletter that gets delivered just outside your cabin. So this is going to tell you all about dress codes, uh, opening hours of the bars, restaurants, and all the entertainment on offer as well. Oh, that's grossly unfair. Look, we're going to lose an hour's sleep tonight. Come on. Day one done. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Good night, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Woken up by the alarm because I'm in an inside cabin and it's so dark. If you don't put alarm on, you could sleep till kingdom come. Matthew just said, it's lovely. He loves an inside cabin. I don't. Maybe uh, my mind will be changed as the week progresses. Do you think I'll change my mind? No. Why? Because you're a stubborn old goat. Did you hear that? Yeah. Stubborn old goat. Yeah. Now, I met someone called Fiona last night, and she said, you pick on Matthew in your vlogs. Yeah. Did you hear, did you hear that? Stubborn old goat. Nanny Me. goat. <laughs> Nanny goat. <laughs> Bow cam is on because there's no windows, so I don't know what's going on. For breakfast, you can either join a physical line outside the main dining room restaurant or join a virtual line on the My Holiday webpage. Choose the number of guests. If you need a wheelchair space, whether you're happy to share a table or not, you'll then enter the virtual queue, receive a notification when your table is ready and have a 15 minute window to check in. It worked very well for us. All right, it is time to head out. Uh, haven't seen our cabin steward stewardess yet, so leaving a little note. Let's do this breakfast. Just so you know. Welcome to Pearl. Around the corner we go. We're right in the corner. It's coffee time. And those all important breakfast options for you folks. Rise and shine. Oh, and there's always something hot to enjoy on board, of course. Great views from this table. 
Health, 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 darling. I know, I know. And from England has baked beans. Poached eggs for Matthew, probably well done. Alrighty, successful breakfast actually, folks. Very nice. We're heading to Vista's coffee shop. Uh, surcharges apply here. It's my least favorite coffee shop at sea, or it always has been, because they normally muck up my order. We'll see how we get on today. Right, so the best thing about lining up for coffee at Vista's, this is not my favorite, by the way, so is that when lovely people come up and say hi, what's your name? Yeah. Oh, it's nice to meet you, and you are Dad. I am Daddy, yeah, <laughs> Daddy Martin. And, um... <laughs> well, that's embarrassing, isn't it? What's your favorite thing so far? This is your first time on board, isn't it? Yeah. What's the best thing? Oh, yeah. oh, what kind of you? You have a balcony. Oh, no, don't say that to me. And it was stinky Southampton. It was sunny Southampton. It was beautiful, wasn't it? Well, it's really nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for appearing, and I hope you have the best week. I hope you have a lovely time, too. Thank you. Bye. The tech ain't working at Easter's. What am I going to get? Yay. Iced coffee. No sugar. They normally put flavor in, even though I asked about a thousand times. Please don't put any flavorings in. And they got it right today. Yes. All right, a little stroll on prom deck, folks. Nice thing to do in the morning after brekkie. Oh, we love a bit of natural light, don't we? All right, let's see what the temperature's like out here. Nice little spot on prom deck. Sun is shining. All is good with the world, folks. God bless you all and all we vessel in ya. Happy cruise days. And yes, you can do a cheers post with coffee. It is perfectly acceptable. Some of you pleaded with me online to give you an idea about shore excursions for this cruise and those all important prices. As you can see, these are very variable and sometimes you can actually get the same experience for half the price by booking independently. I will show you that later. My advice is to always book your shore excursions in advance of your cruise so you get exactly what you want. And don't forget, if you're a Peninsula Club member, you'll also receive your discount. All right, so this lovely gem has just come over to say hello. What's your name? My name is Mark. Hi, Mark. And I believe this is your first ever cruise. This is our first ever cruise. <laughs> and why did you choose uh, Peter Iona? I, first of all, I'd seen some sort of YouTube videos on it. Yeah. Um, including your own. Oh, thank and, goodness. And certainly enjoying it very much. Yeah. Listen, I hope you have a great first cruise, a great week. Yeah. And it's really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for your vlogs. You're welcome. Take Cheers. care. Bye. Right, we're off shopping. Well, Matthew is. Have you noticed Matthew always goes shopping when we're on a cruise? That's because he always forgets to pack certain things, by the way. I know I'm not picking on him. I'm just telling the truth. Now then, it is black tie tonight. I've got my bow tie. Matthew hasn't. Oh, he, that's actually quite nice. Floral, oh, you've got a floral one. These are quite nice. I like them. Searching for a gilet or body warmer, depending on where you come from. Right, in a strange turn of events, it's actually me buying stuff. Oh, I didn't intend on buying anything. He's not given up yet, folks. Oh, straight to Molten Brown, look. Matthew left empty-handed, so I win. Or do I lose, because I spent money? Quick peek to see where we are. Oh, we are well and truly in the North Sea now, look. If you'd like to see the full tour and review of our inside cabin, just search Travel Blog Jamie, Piano Iona, inside cabin. Alrighty just done my cabin tour and review so do search for travel vlog jamie iona inside cabin if you're interested time to go and find that mafu certainly getting busier now out and about but still plenty of seats around starboard side of the atrium you actually have pop-up acrobatic acts along here uh, on avia they actually take place right in the center in the atrium here to starboard side there you go we've got people limbering up ready Admittedly, not the most flattering of angles. Let's move on. <laughs> I found him. Nice spot, Matthew. And for the love of God, don't forget your clips. Keep those towels in place. You don't want them flying off the ship. Oh. And a very good afternoon. This is you. Archer. Current views. Chilling out. Let me show you the sunset bar at the aft of prom deck. There you go. Oh, it's busy. We've got extra large hot tubs here. Plenty of seating. Nice big bar. I made it. 
Well, the drink service at the Sunset Bar was poor. Um, I only ordered two Diet Pepsis and everyone around me who ordered after me, like 10 to 15 minutes after me, all got their drinks before me. Cocktails, frozen cocktails and so on. Sorry, I just very politely asked, you know, am I gonna get my Pepsis? Yes, yes, yes. Took someone else's order, gave them their drinks. Not feeling like a very nice passenger right now, folks. Drink service so far, mm, below par. Truth out. Alrighty, we are heading to the Keys for our lunch. Um, all food from the Keys is included in your cruise fare. Holy macaroni, it's busy. You've got your fish and chips there. There's Asian food in the second one. And you've got American fare in the third. I don't know that we're gonna be able to get anything. It's heaving. Alrighty, the Asian section was nice and quiet. And just at the end of the Keys, there is a small buffet section. So you have your salad items, there's all sorts of slaw, and some dessert items as well. Oh, that was a bit of an ordeal, getting a seat. Anyway, we're outside now, because there's no seats inside. Katsu chicken curry, a little bit of salad. Opposite the salad bar area, you can get your coffees and your teas, all included. Matthew's already doing it, look. He's a good lad sometimes, isn't he? All the time. All the time. <laughs> Ooh, it's like a bum fight, I'm telling you. Not easy getting through here, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, there's people eating the Keys food in Sindhu, because there's not enough room over there. Thank you for coming over and saying hello. Can you introduce yourselves? Yeah, I'm Martin. I'm Becky. Yeah, this is um, our first time on Iona, and it's absolutely brilliant so far. Second day in, having a great time. And um, we've done Disney twice, and we have been on Royal Caribbean three or four times. And this is just really good. It's so that's really a, ship. a big it. difference between those cruise lines as well. Yeah. So what's been your highlight so far? I know it's only a day in. Um, 710 lounges. Oh, you've been there already? Yeah, yeah absolutely amazing. Who was playing? Um, some hand-picked Gary Barlow people. Yeah, they did. <laughs> so, yeah, they're amazing, yeah. So if you like jazzy style stuff, um, Jamie Cullen style. Um, and that's uh, like an intimate kind of live lounge, isn't it? Yeah, and you, they want you to sit on the front row. There was, it's a very British thing not to sit on the front <laughs> row. But uh, yeah, we sort of did. But we're quite musical, so we liked it. Really good. I need to book in. Yeah, it gets booked yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Get well, look, thank you so much for appearing and have an awesome week. Thank you. Yeah, no, we nice have to, to meet you. Jesus too, if that's all right. <laughs> yes, thank you, Jesus. I'm going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> See you later. Whew, it's a bit breezy this side, but beautiful sunny skies. Little wander around on top decks whilst the sun's out. This is the infinity bar and pool. That's the infinity bar and it looks like you can actually get a drink without having to wait for an age. And up one more deck, deck 17, you've got the Panorama Pool and Bar. Again, definitely going to be able to get a drink here. Somebody's falling to sleep. Low sugar chocolate and orange cupcake from the Keys. Fabulous. Alrighty, my loves. If you want to have a look and see what events are on during uh, Sea Day, well, here's a look inside the Horizon newsletter. Question is, what would you be getting up to? And a little bit later on in the day, moving into the evening. And later in the evening, including some of the films that you can watch at the cinema. And there are four screens there. Welcome to celebration night. I'm trying not to be too corny. Oh, look who it is. Alrighty, inside cabin party time. We haven't yet met our cabin student or stewardess, but they did bring us ice. So for that, I thank you very much. Right, the question is how much? I've got no um, jigger, jigger jig ah. It's just poor really, isn't it? Oh, holy swarmer. A wee bit of sugar-free June berry. Mm -mm. Cheers, Matthew. Cheers. Happy celebration night. Cheers everybody! Ooh, Juneberry's nice! Love it! So on board Piano, Iona and Arbia, there's one formal night a week, celebration night. And look, you get a free glass of fizz or elderflower pasty. I must say thank you to Alessia from Twitter, who actually bought this 
uh, bow tie for me and posted it as well. So kind, thank you, I love it. We boycotted the last number of uh, celebration nights. Just couldn't be bothered. Tonight we are making a special effort and we do have dinner booked at Sindhu, which is the uh, speciality Asian restaurant. And we're meeting up with a lovely couple as well. They won't want to be on film, but I'm just telling you, it's going to be awesome. Alrighty, so this is Sindhu Bar. By the way, big secret, which I know Fiona will be very cross about, but this is the place to come for a drink if everywhere else is busy. I am going to go and exchange our little tokens, vouchers, for some fizz. Voucher exchange and the bubbles on the way. So, I recommend that you book Sindhu in advance of boarding the ship. You'll need to put down a £10 per person deposit, but that comes off your bill once you've eaten, and if you spend any extra, you probably will, uh, you'll get a 20% discount on that. So I think that's really good value. If you book whilst on board, you literally just pay per dish that you actually have, but you don't get your discount. And now to Bubbles. Cheers, everybody. Love you lots. Thank you, Capitan. Alrighty, so here is a look at the Sindhu menu and everything looks tickety-boo actually, doesn't it? What would you order? Drop those comments below. You know I'm very nosy, I like to know what you're going to eat. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Papa Dom's mango chutney, looks delicious. <laughs> that sounds beautiful. If you order nothing else in here, you must have the dozer. It's one of the best starters anywhere on the planet actually just say, will you stop doing that oh my goodness what is the matter with you tonight have you been drinking no. you haven't been drinking are you lying no. no can you give me a word that's got more than one syllable no, no. <laughs> thank you so much yeah. matthew you're welcome <laughs> matthew has gone with the monkfish and prawns i'm just saying that before he starts prodding and playing with his food because he's terrible like that i love the vibrant colors on that and i I'm gonna, I'm gonna nick one of the plates actually. I've gone with the red chicken curry, which strangely enough comes with noodles, but it actually works very well. And you have all these different types of oil. So you've got chili and onion. I don't remember the others. <laughs> My um, attention span is so, so poor. It smells delicious. All right, in a strange turn of events, Matthew has agreed to have banana and semolina pancakes. It's not his sort of thing, but it looks absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. And there you are, that's Sindhu. That was absolutely delicious. We've been to Sindhu many times on the whole fleet, actually. Uh, tonight, I'd say, was definitely up there with one of the best visits. So thank you very much, everybody. Alrighty, we are now at the Glass House Bar, uh, also a restaurant. This has a fabulous selection of wines, and you know I like my wine. New Hall Bacchus, love this wine, recommend it. Good old England and Essex in particular. Mm. Honestly, one of the best. Thank you, Essex. You're right then, Matthew. You singing away? No? I just got him singing and, and tapping his foot. Of course, you won't see that on camera. Why is the deck always closed when you want to go out and get a nice picture with the sunset? Shall I go under? Damn it, I'm going under. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Oh my goodness, it's a good job Matthew's not with me. He'd be absolutely raving right now, that one underneath that. Sorry, everybody. Under we go, oopsie. Nobody saw that. Captain Wesley, if you're watching, I'm so sorry. Loving the colors of this sunset. <sighs> Blissful, isn't it? Well, not for you, obviously, because you're watching this on a screen. It's really nice. <laughs> Look, I'm going to say it. I prefer this atrium to, you know, Avia. I just think it's a bit more elegant and stylish, but I do get that it's not used to all those lovely pop-up acts. I still love all the marble effects though, folks. I oh, blimmin' love it. It was lovely to get a photo with my friend Fiona, whose husband happens to be the captain of Iona. Oh, that was a good evening, folks. What a lovely meal at Sindhu. Thank you to our table mates. You were awesome, by the way. Um, I just wanted to also point out that I know I was having a bit of a grumble earlier about some of the um, service on the open decks, particularly Sunset Bar. Sorry, everybody. Um, actually, 
uh, when we went for some wine at the glass house just now, um, it was super busy, but yet the service was super efficient. Um, we, we received our wines within about five minutes. So actually it's not all bad, is it? I was just having a grumble earlier. Thank you, glass house. Oh, and thank goodness I can finally take this neck strangling thing off. Ugh. Farewell. I won't see you again for a long time. Oh, but can I say I love my bow tie. Thank you, Alessia. Mwah. Beautiful. Who's not a fan of formalities? That would be me. Sorry, everybody. Ooh. And away you go. No more for this cruise, my darling. Mwah. Right, let's see what's down here, my darlings. It's nibbles time. What have we got left? Oh, I think... No, Thai chili crackers surely are when you're having a, a boozy drink before you go out for the evening. Sour cream and chai pretzels. Yep, that's the winner. Right, time to spray those pillows. Ready for bedtime. Lavender, lavender, lavender. Alrighty, it's time to hit the sack. It's also our first port tomorrow. Stavanger, Stavanger, Norway. Good night, everybody. And... Good morning, everybody. It's Jamie here. We are nearing Stavanger, and I'd love to be able to go out onto my balcony and show you the sailing, talk about the kind of temperatures I can expect, how to dress, but I can't. So I'm gonna run up four decks to prom deck and have a little peep with my own little peepers. Hey, Norway. Oh, it's so peaceful. That's why I'm whispering, by the way. I could be wrong, but I think we're gonna pirouette and we are going to dock over here. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. They said we watch you on YouTube. Have a great day. Capitan is doing a good job at pirouetting very gracefully, by the way. Alrighty, we are going to have our breakfast at the Keys this morning. Um, you can get pancakes, waffles, your hot offerings, omelettes, like so. Wow, that looks bloody handsome, my loves. Alfresco breakfast for me today. Oh, look, Matthew's gone with omelette and 50,000 hash browns, nice. Stavanger will be the most southerly Norwegian port we visit on this cruise. Well, this is the time to get in the hot tub. Nobody about. There's the three-story atrium. Looks tiny from here. <laughs> Pretty. I'm really sorry to everyone who lives here though, with us docked right next to them. Oh no! What a beautiful day. I actually am far too warm in this right now. Might have to strip off a little bit later, folks. Let's talk location. So Iona's just here. White House is directly opposite. And um, around the harbour, you've got lots of these leisure pleasure boats that take you into the fjords. Now, p actually offer this excursion for £97 per adult. We have booked it independently for £50 each. Wow. The Lisa Fjord and cruise takes between three and three and a half hours, so you've got plenty of time whilst in port. You can buy your tickets port side, but I always recommend doing so in advance online. Welcome to our Rodney tour. That's the name of the company, by the way. I'm not being facetious. We're going to head out of the port of Stavanger to Lisa Fjord, and en route, as well as mountains, we'll see Pulpit Rock, Vagabond Cave, Mountain Goats of Prekastolen, and also waterfalls. And we're off. I'm so excited for this, folks. I can't even begin to tell you. 
See you later, baby. Don't worry, we still love you. It's just a little boat we're on. Matthew's being very pensive, look, no, he's quite happy here, aren't you? Yeah, me too. Oh, it's actually quite nice down here, folks. Nice comfy chairs. We've got screens to see what's straight ahead. And they've even got a little coffee shop as well. Awesome. Ooh, that looks nice. Pastry time. There he is, nibbling away, look. Wow, we are getting really close now. Wow, that's not something you see every day, is it? We got goats. So they're extending this little bridge now, presumably to feed the goats. How cool. Here come the goats. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my God, can I take one home with me, please? Come and get your food, goaties. Oh. Is that nice? Is that nice? Or bit rock up there apparently can't see much can you just a big rock holy macaroni i'm actually getting wet from this we're getting that close fantastic wow we are literally right underneath this and um, yes i am getting just a little bit damp and we are back on board have to say that was a fabulous tour i highly recommend you do it independently and save yourselves 50 pounds per person anyway lunch time right matthew managed to get us a table for lunch at uh pearl main dining room oh i do love a bit of pearl folks i think it's a really nice light bright airy dining room now then, for your information, there are four main dining rooms on Iona, all serving the same items. Alrighty, let's have a peek to see what's on the lunch menu. Oh my goodness, lighter options. And your dessert menu as well. Good to see the gluten-free and low sugar options as well as vegetarian. Sweet potato soup to start with. Matthew's gone with the, is it spicy chicken burger? Oh, it's just a normal chicken burger. And the vegan curry for me. Well, that was actually really nice. Very simple, uh, quite light, perfect lunch. Right, so we've just been accosted by <laughs> someone, someone called Emma, who knows Emma, Emma Ludlow. You work Hello. together, is that right? We do work together, we're work colleagues. I've just yes. got some gossip as well on, uh, on the other Emma. <laughs> this is your first cruise, is that right? It is my first cruise. How is it going? I'm thoroughly impressed, oh. absolutely love it. What do you like about it? Um, I love the fact that there's not all the airport drama. The <laughs> check-in process was so smooth. We were straight in, handed the luggage in, on the ship. What time was your boarding went. time out of interest? So we had 1.30, which was perfect. Oh, and it still worked. That's good, because that's quite so a busy time normally. One o'clock, yeah. we pulled up 
to check our car in and yeah. we were literally on the ship by half one eating lunch it was fantastic it was so smooth well thank you for being brave and appearing That's and okay. i hope you have a great week your first ever cruise enjoy thank you so much and actually i'm just going to quickly pan around to show you this lovely bar um it's a beautiful bar and oh this is this your other half he doesn't want to appear so i'm i'm yeah i could get in trouble for this you know actually you could have this whole video taken down oh iced coffee thank you jesus didn't take long and they got it right good evening everybody well it's jamie here matthew's there perching at the end of the bed because we are in an inside cabin and it's very tricky to have your booze isn't it matthew yeah yeah Anyway, we have joined a virtual queue for um, main dining room. They've got roast turkey on the menu. Happy Christmas, everybody. Uh, let's see how tonight goes. I think I might have a few of these tonight, though. World of whites for us. Oh, this is awesome. Just in case you're not sure which wine you're actually tasting, they have uh, labels right at the bottom of the glass. Cheers, number one. New Hawk Bacchus. Tried and tested favorite. This is the Lane Pinot Gris. That's my new favorite. And the money spider. My least favorite. Alrighty, it is dinner time. We are coming to Opal. I don't think we've actually been to this main uh, dining room before. Oh my God, I'm already slurring, S slurring. And there you go. This is Opal. Oh, pa, 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 pa. oh what a lovely lady. She put us right by the window. Thank you so much. Alrighty, what would you order? I normally have a starter, followed by a soup, followed by my main. And don't forget that our chef's recommendations. All right, Matthew's gone with the dog poo, I mean, lamb cofter. And this is very unusual for me because there's three ingredients in here I never eat. Orange, radicchio, and fennel. But I just like the sound of it. Try something new, you know? An all-time prince, I mean, I was gonna say princess favorite, piano favorite, tomato soup. Happy Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Whilst that was really nice, they only give you one potato, and then not a very big one at that. Ask for multiple potatoes, folks. And of course, I'll bring you more if um, you ask, but they haven't been back since, so. <laughs> oh, look what I've just walked by. Have I had my dinner already? No, not really. Dinner number two. Matthew will be like, don't film that, don't show them that. I'm still hungry. I just literally had a portion of veg in the last place. I've got the spicy Malaysian pork with peanut and rice from the Keys. Bite me. Now, would you look at that self-serve wine? This is the place to come if you want to get a drink without having to line up quite clearly. Right, Sindhu bar, we love it in here. Not too busy, cheers Matthew. It's blowing a hooli, but it is pretty AF. Well, the good thing about being on a cruise is that if your dinner is not to your liking or maybe the portion is too small for you, either ask for more or go somewhere else. <laughs> there's always somewhere else. And if that doesn't work for you, there's always room service, late night snacks, and of course, get yourself some nibbles in that cabin of yours. You're welcome. Alrighty, time for cabin party. Woohoo! Nibbles! I'm going to go with mini cheddars tonight, my darlings. Let's lavender up that pillow, folks. Ready for nice sleep. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Do you want to smell? Here. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not exaggerating nor nothing, my loves, but tomorrow is going to be amazing. Let's go to bed. Love you all. Good night. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. We are sailing the fjords to Oldham. And if I had a balcony, I'd be able to go out on side and show you. But no, this is from the TV. Let's go outside, shall we? Right, give me your best fjords. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Wow. I'm not gonna say anything else other than, wow. Oh my goodness. Everything just gets more and more stunning by the moment. Oh, the 
this is unreal. <gasps> So today we will be taking the Loan Skylift, which will take you all the way up here, above those clouds. It's gonna be amazing. I mean, wow. I can't wait for today. However, it is breakfast time. We have booked into the Keelan House Bestiality Dining for breakfast. Uh, each item comes with a surcharge, apart from your teas and coffees, thank goodness. And this is one you can actually book in advance, unlike on Arbia, so I like that. Obviously, you don't have to pay for breakfast on board. You can go to the Horizon Buffet. You've got the main dining room, of course, and there is also the keys. And those all important items and the ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching prices. What would you have? Or well, maybe you wouldn't bother coming here. Maybe you don't want to spend the extra. Or a nicer cup of coffee. Matthew has gone with the chili and lime avocado eggs benedict. Looks delicious. Basically a bacon roll for me. Looks good though pastry basket, got some brioche toast, some danish and muffin. All right, a little bit of Stokes Bloody Mary ketchup, made with vodka and Worcestershire sauce, but fab. And I think we'll have a little brown sauce as well. Do you have this in the USA, by the way, folks? Quick summary for me. I think they need to make sure you've got a pot of coffee on your table because it's taken an age to get ours. Uh, water didn't come at the beginning when asked for. Pastry basket didn't arrive. We had no butter. Didn't have sauces. I had to ask for those. I think if you're going to pay for this experience, then the service should be a little bit more slick. Sorry, folks. True story. What I will say is the food was delicious. So... Gosh, why can't you have it always, folks, eh? I want my cake and I want to eat it. Alrighty, and it's back to the main business of the day. Going ashore shortly, heading for the sky lift. I want some snow. <laughs> so shoreside, you need to exchange your p &O excursion ticket for your actual sky lift ticket. And then we're going to head to a shuttle. There you are, the shuttle takes about seven minutes and it drops you right okay. by the sky lift. It looks like we're going to head through those clouds. Fantastic. In terms of accessibility, there is a lift you can take instead of walking up <laughs> those steps, straight onto the ramp, join the line. Cloud busting. Those all important opening hours. Uh, including the restaurant at the top, which apparently is stunning. Look, the National Geographic. I bet that's pricey. It looks beautiful though. Right, so we've just seen that tickets for the Skylift are about £50. And of course you need your shuttle as well. So there is a saving to be had by not booking direct, as always. Not as much as we found yesterday with our fjords cruise, having said that. Here comes our lift. We only waited about, I don't know, 10-15 minutes max. Uh, apparently they hold about 35 passengers. And off we go. <laughs> Gathering speed now. This is going to be steep. <laughs> Alright, we're about to head through the clouds. See you on the other side, folks. If you want to know what it looks like going through the clouds, there you go. We're bursting our way through. This is so cool. I'm telling you, I'm not even thinking about what's below. Wow. Whoa. I am so going to throw snowballs at Matthew. And let's go explore. I know, I know you want to see the scenery, but we must talk technical aspects as well. Sorry, it's 45 passenger, not 35. If you want to know where the restaurant is, it's right here, the Hoven restaurant. It's literally perched at the top of this mountain. All right, so just as you come to the top of the Skylift station, there is a shop. I can smell cinnamon. Oh, there's a coffee shop. <laughs> Out we go to the most incredible views. Listen, this is like one of the best uses of 70 odd pound ever. Holy macaroni. Oh my God. Oh, you can see Iona down there. Hey baby, I see you. Look how steep that is. It's just why you can't see for a part of the ride. <laughs> 
if you want to know just how awesome this is, Matthew is taking pictures and video footage. He never does that. <laughs> now, yeah, this is the life. The air is so pure up here. My goodness. Asthma be cured. I think we might be all right for today. Lots of hikers out and about. Me and me shorts and vest. I'm not sure it's the right attire personally. It's actually very warm up here, by the way. Slushy. Oh. You must do the low and sky lift, please. If you're afraid of heights, if you're afraid of snow, if you're afraid of mountains, oh, hell to it all. You only live once, don't you? YOLO. Please come and do this. You know what, it's been years since I've been skiing. I keep saying to Matthew, we must go on a skiing holiday. I think this might well convince him. <laughs> there she comes. Does a little bit of a swing at the end. My favorite part. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Okay, where? Suitable footing, not pumped like me. Definitely not flip-flops either. Have a safe flight. Yeah, I want to do that. Can we do that? I don't know if Matthew has spotted this. Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, look. Cloud cover. That's actually the sky lift. Can you see it? What do you mean, no? I can see it, clear as day. <laughs> Matthew can't resist, look. And for those of you asking whether you need to bring currency, I think this is all you need to know. A coffee up here is going to cost about five pounds. Um, the pastry is about two pound fifty. Cinnamon bun. Mmm, good, good, good. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Alrighty, and back down we go. This is so bucket list and I didn't even know it. Now then, I did say it gets busier later in the day and I'm not joking, so you're going to zigzag through the building and all the way back here as well. Come early or later. This is exceeding my expectations by about a billion percent. I know people told me how beautiful this part of Norway is, but wow, nothing quite like being here in person, folks. I've got to say, I'm in heaven. There she is. Right, we're back at the port and look at the line for the shuttle. As I said to you, do this early, folks. You've been warned. Hello, my gorgeous. You all right? Are you having a nice day basking in the Norwegian sun? No bad angles today, Iona. Or ever, I'm sure. I'm not trying to body shame you, by the way. Woo! Hello, everybody! We're just taking the pathway into Olden now. It's such a beautiful walk, folks. I don't mind telling you, folks, I feel a little bit like Heidi right now, however she felt. Right, so we're just walking to Olden, and because I'm half deaf, I didn't realise this lovely family was calling me. <laughs> Matthew was like, there's a family calling you. Um, who are you? Introduce yourselves. I'm Julian. Diana. I'm Erin. I'm Josh. Nice to meet you. And this is your first time on Erin, is that right? It is, yeah. So what are your highlights so far? Uh -huh. Olive Grove restaurant. Fantastic. <laughs> Love the Olive Grove. You've been three times, is that right? Twice so far, I'm once more on Friday. Oh, you're going, yeah, fans. Any other highlights? Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful bus trip. Open top bus, unreal. This is the place on the, the weather for an open 
top bus tour definitely Beautiful. well have a great remainder of your week thank, thank you for you. appearing i appreciate it thank you for your video thank all right you're thank welcome you. very helpful. yay all right take care thank you. gosh this is just stunning i don't want to ever leave mind you basingstoke is a, a good second choice really isn't it to this look pensive matthew Reminds me of Kermit the Frog down there like that, with your legs in the angle. I always find iced coffee, folks, here in Alden. Yes! Oh, someone's strumming. So just walking back to the ship, beautiful day. Matthew has been a nasty piece of work to me. He's literally... Oh, no, no. Listen to him. Or you, hashtag poor Matthew people out there. He's literally calling me names and saying how stupid I am. You are stupid. You are stupid. There you go. Got it. I got it. A uh, beautiful day. Back on board at the R. Iced coffee. Got a lounger. Blissful. And look at that for a view from the aft pool. Oh my goodness. Matthew has hunted down a bit of food. Look, some pizza, fries, slaw from 360. Obviously, a burger for Matthew. He's a burger fiend. Taste test. Mm, that's really nice, actually. I must say, the pizza on Kino has improved over the years. It's not up to Princess or MSC standard, but it's very tasty. Oh, look, Matthew's got us some afternoon tea from the buffet. And the muffin is low sugar. Well done, Matthew. Good job. You too can enjoy the peace, quiet, tranquility, serenity of the Norwegian fjords with the odd scream from a child. It's just enchanting, isn't it, that noise? Quick peep in the buffet on the way back to the cabin. Got carvery for lunch, veggies, pies, haddock fillets in parsley sauce. No, thank you. All sorts of desserts. We've got scones over there as well. Lots of salad, pizza and sandwiches. Ooh, crackers and cheese. This is the club lounge, by the way. We're just heading to the Arthur Say the Way and get a drink. And the band Pulse are warming up. They are doing guilty pleasures tonight. Oh. God, I never feel guilty about pleasure. Ah, oh, this is one of the places to be. Sail away, sunset bar. The question is, will I get served? Cheers, everybody. Happy sail away. Bye, Alden, we love you. Right, we've managed to bag a table at the Keeling Cow for dinner. When we come to the Keeling Cow, we don't normally have a startup, do we? Because the portions are pretty hefty here, in a good way. It's one of those rare menus that I can actually order about a thousand dishes from as well. It's great for me. Oh, look, change of plan. We've gone with the baked cheese with fugas and date relish. It smells very, very strong. I don't remember it. <laughs> it. Smells strong, doesn't it? The poor couple next to us are like, oh my God. Oh, oh stringy. Oh. So I know you're all probably just focused on Matthew, but what about the waterfall going by in the background? Focus on that. All right, Matthew has the spatchcock chicken. Uh, it's got a beautiful salad actually with avocado, blue cheese, bacon and poutine. Go on Matthew. Oh, yes. And I've gone for the cauliflower sweet potato pudding um, with dal, bhaji and spinach. Mine is stupidly delicious. All sorts of spices and flavours. It's really good. Oh and by the way, the paste beyond that pudding. Oh hey everybody, nice dinner, a bit slow though in terms of service. I'm in the Skydome now to watch Tai Fu, Tai Fu.
and that was try poo boo um it's much better than rise which is the the birdie show as i call it um lots of acrobatics in this one it's really good that there's always uh one team facing off against the other there's always something happening uh very talented performers indeed enjoyed that welcome back to the nibbles cupboard what are we gonna have tonight i quite fancy some sour cream and chai pretzels actually my loves that is officially the end of part one don't be sad my loves part two is on its way next time on travel blog jamie we head deep into guy Rangerford on a rib boat tour endless waterfall sightings more subscriber sightings strange goings on in the grand atrium our experience and review of the olive grove restaurant cancelled port and unexpected sea day room service mischief our experience and review of fine dining at the epicurean with big fire more entertainment and middle-aged man dancing and sadly the disembarkation process for now thank you for watching much appreciated as always hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have and i'll see you real soon for part two take care Oh, nearly forgot to spray my pillows, lavender. Oh, beautiful. Before we get to the bloopers, do drop your comments below about the cruise so far. Do you hear? What else do I want to say? I don't mind telling you, this is exceeding my ex... <laughs> um, really nice creaminess, actually, from that ice cream slash sorbet slash low sugar slash ice slash cream <laughs> i'm saying i really like it that's what i'm saying good night my darlings i'm coming in for that kiss are you ready don't forget to follow travel blog jamie on twitter instagram and youtube